Good morning everybody, this is Jockeys from Straight Razor Place. Today we're going to be doing another shaving video. The last one I had uh, some friendly mutton chops and so today I'm making this one to demonstrate the proper coupe de maitre for uh, doing your upper lip and the rest of your face. We'll begin by applying some uh, ubalada made from uh, my homemade cinnamon soap and some of uh, C. Stewart's orange clove soap. Good lather kind of makes a mess, but it's always worth it. Be shaving with my 5 8 Dobo stainless steel today. I've already stropped and honed it, so we won't be covering that. Alright, the coupe de maitre is how you uh, shave your upper lip for the mustache. Going to start with the razor flat up against the uh, filter of your nose and kind of scoop downwards. And as a kind of a second pass on the uh, upper lip, we'll just do middle to side on each one. There we go. Now the standard stretch the skin, 30 degree angle, and short, light strokes. Rinse your braid frequently, you don't want to have a lot of lather and stuff on it. Remember the tighter you stretch your skin, the closer it's going to be without having to push hard. And you never want to push hard, always keep it real light. Now, uh, for the lower lip, I tend to just go straight up, like so. I really don't have much of a soul patch, so it's not an issue for me. Some people tend to have a lot more hair there and they need to do a downward pass first, but I really don't find that necessary. You notice I'm kind of doing like that to stretch my skin. That's why I'm making these goofy faces. I mean, not only is it entertaining, but uh, it serves the purpose to tighten my skin and make the shape smoother. And again, you'll notice it makes an awful scraping noise like buttering toast. That's normal. Pointing the chin is a little bit difficult. We will go over that in greater detail later. Do the other side real quick here. Remember, no pressure at all, and the blade should just float through your whiskers. If it pulls at all, your razor isn't sharp, or you're holding it at the wrong angle. Okay, that's the first pass, or the with the grain pass. 
now, uh, I had a pretty good two or three days growth. Right now, it's about like a five o'clock shadow. I can feel it if I go the opposite way, but it's smooth going down. So in order to get that true baby butt smooth shave, we're gonna lather up for another quick pass. Oh, look at that uber lather. Nice and hot in my scuttle. Fantastic. I already did the second pass on my upper lip, so I won't be doing that. Also, uh, shaving soap tastes really bad, so. For my across the grain pass on the cheeks, I tend to go sideways. So, notice I'm stretching the skin by making a face. And the other side. Now, the uh, chin area, I tend to like to, before I do my against the grain pass on the bottom, I like to do a side to side pass on the chin to clean it up a little bit. Also, I kind of have a butt chin, so I need to get down in there. That one is the tricky one. I have a scar there, and uh, this is the one where it's really easy to cut yourself if you're not careful. Get a little bit more louder here. Nice and thick, look at that. Major props to C. Stewart for his lather. You can see this is just crazy thick uber lather with his cream and uh, my soap. And the smell is magnificent, so. All right, now we're gonna be doing my against the grain pass on the uh, neck area. And uh, as stated in my other video, you want to straighten your razor out a little bit and hold it like that. Kind of more the uh, Japanese grip, I guess. Very light on the point of the chin. That's a problem area for most people. It's uh, it's difficult. Okay, there we go, that's the against the grain pass. Now, in a perfect world, that would have resulted in a baby butt shave, baby butt smooth shave. However, a lot of guys find that the hair on their neck doesn't grow straight up or straight down. I'm one of those guys. Mine kind of grows that way and that way. So what's needed is an across the grain pass.